Welcome to another episode of Fougere Family Adventures. Today, we have three lures here in front of you and three of the only lures that you will need if you are fishing on a budget. These three lures can be combined to make six different lures. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel. Subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you can see our newest videos coming soon. The first lure that you will need is a Gibbs bling blade. Typical wedding bands used to have a shiny band. This has a bunch of beads and a blade. These bling blades are amazing. They work for kokanee, they work for trout. The next lure you'll need is a Max Wiggle Bill Hoochie. It comes with a Max Wiggle Bill and it comes with a hoochie. This will help your lure move erratically in the water. And the final lure you'll need is an Apex or something similar to this. Gibbs also makes something similar called a Gibbs TKO. Now we're going to open up these three lures and we're going to show you what we're talking about. And we're going to make six lures out of three. This is a Gibbs bling blade. You can fish this straight out of the package or if you're not getting a bite, you can change it up and mix and match your lures. This is a Max Wiggle Bill. These typically come with a longer leader. When you're fishing a wiggle bill behind a dodger, you want to allow this bill to wiggle back and forth. The shorter leader of the bling blade allows the dodger to impart action onto your bling blade. This is an apex lure. This also acts like a wiggle bill and it moves erratically in the water. It comes with a longer leader so that you can allow this lure to dance around behind your dodger. All these three lures are effective. You can try them in different colors. We like orange, we love pink for kokanee fishing, and all the colors in between. When your bling blade isn't working, you can actually use the hoochie from your wiggle bill and make a spinner hoochie. I'll show you how easy it is. Quickly slide it off. And take off your hoochie. Now you're going to want a couple beads in that hoochie. Maybe one bead is a smaller hoochie. Some of the bigger hoochies you need more beads. And you can check out some of my other videos here. So we have the bead inside the hoochie. We're going to pull that tight. Then we're going to put a couple more beads on there to keep the spinner above your hoochie. You can use up all the beads or you can just use enough just so that blade hangs above the hoochie. I'm going to use three beads. There you have it. That's lure number four made out of those three lures that we bought. Now if your spinner blade is too much, take it off. This is the fifth lure you can make with those lures. Just a regular hoochie and you fish this behind your dodger, fish a very short leader and this hoochie will kick around and those kokanee or trout will love it. Another popular lure is to fish a hoochie with an apex. All you need to do is add a couple beads to the back end of the apex and you can design your lure. So there you have it. A couple beads, then your apex, you slide it down. That is your sixth lure. These lures catch a lot of fish. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. I hope it's helped you come up with some ideas for some new lures. We hope you have fun building lures. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel.